This is Mr. Buffington. Today we're adding decimals. So let's review quickly some of the rules for adding. Um, if the signs are the same, you just add the two numbers together, the absolute value of the two numbers. This would work if you're adding positives or negatives. I'll put in a negative one here as well. Um, if you're adding 3 plus 4, you get 4, or 3 plus 1, you get 4. Just like it says here, 1 plus 3 is 4. But that works the same for adding negatives. Negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4. So the signs in this case were both negatives, the result's negative. The sign is both positive, the result's positive. But you're still adding up just these numbers or the absolute values of those numbers. If the signs are different, you find the difference between the two numbers and take the sign from the larger number. So 1 plus negative 3. That's a positive 1 and a negative 3, so positive and a negative. Signs are different. What's the difference between 3 and 1? Well, 2. And which number has the greater number? 3. So we take the sign from that. So if I were to show you this one, negative 1 plus 3, the signs are different. We have a negative number and a positive number. So we're going to find the difference. The difference between 3 and 1 is 2. And we take the final answer takes its sign from the larger of the two, or the larger absolute value. In this case, 3 is larger than 1, so the result will be positive. We're going to use some of that today, but just a quick review to kind of make sure we're all on the same page. Now, let's look at adding decimals. The Steps for adding decimals are pretty straightforward. There's two steps. First off, you line up the decimals. Secondly, you add like normal. So if I have 1.45 plus 3.54, I'm going to first line up the decimals. Remember, I'm not lining up the numbers. I'm lining up the decimals because sometimes they're, they might not match up. You line up the decimals, and then you add up the numbers. So 5 and 4 is 9, 4 and 5 is 9, and 1 and 3 is 4. So our final answer here is 4.99. All right? So you line up the decimals, add like normal. That's about it. So let's go ahead and practice using what we know about adding and also what we know about adding fractions, or fractions, decimals. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right. We line up the decimals here. In this case, the signs are the same. We have a negative 34.5 and a negative 2.43. So the signs are the same. So we just add them up and keep the sign. That's it. And then we're done. So 34.5 and 2.43 will give us 36.93. Because they're all negative, our answer is negative. That's it. All right. Now let's take a look at two numbers when the signs are different. So 42.35, that's a positive number, plus negative 42.34. So we line up the decimals here, but because the signs are different, we're finding the difference, or in other words, we're going to subtract. Signs are different, we subtract. And then we'll just go through and subtract like normal. 5 minus 4 is 1, 3 minus 3 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0. Kind of funny question to pick, but that's all right. So when we find the sum, or we're adding together two numbers where their signs are different, we find the difference. All right. And the next type of question is if we have a variable. I'm going to set up this exactly as I would anything else, 4.3 plus 9.8. I'm going to line up the decimal and then add the numbers like normal. That's it. 3 plus 8 is 11. I would carry that 1 and join them together. 4 plus 9 plus 1 is 14. So that is how I would find the sum if I'm given two variables and asked to add them together. All right. Follow exactly the same rules. Just line them up, set it up, and we're good to go. Now, I just want to wait here for a minute. This may have seemed a little bit straightforward, maybe maybe a little easy up to this point, but um, this next question is going to get tricky. So just um, letting you know, giving you some fair warning so you can take a moment and worry about the type of question that I've created. Um, just anticipate the hardest thing you've ever done. Multiply that by the biggest number that you've ever managed. Um, you can even raise it to an exponent or multiply times you know, scientific notation or something. Just make it really hard. Okay. 
Now take a deep breath. We're going to go through this. All right. So we're asked to find the sum of h plus j. h is 3.2. j is negative 4.23. Now we know the signs are different. Signs are different, so we're going to find the difference between them. All right. 3.2 plus negative 4.23, it's the same thing as 3.2 minus 4.23. In other words, we're finding the difference. So let's just line those up. We line up the decimals. And this is the one step that I didn't mention before. If there's ever any blanks here, you just fill them in with zeros. It's a pretty straightforward step. Um, you just need to have something there. So 3.20 is the same as 3.2. Just fill it in with zeros. All right, now we're ready to subtract. Um, 0 minus 3 is, well, we'd have to bring that over. 2, cancel it out. 10 minus 3 would be 7. 1 minus, wait a minute. I can't take 3 minus 4. What, what am I going to do with 3 minus 4? And Oh, boy. So what do we do at this point? Well, we need to remember something about subtraction. Because it's a subtraction problem, we're just looking for the difference between these two numbers. So the difference between these numbers can be found by subtracting the smaller number from the larger number. Now, what we have to remember is that we are taking away a larger amount. So our final answer is going to end up being negative. So that's how we would set this up. Take the larger number minus the smaller number, and just keep in remembrance that our final answer is going to be negative. All right, our final answer is negative because the larger of the two values is negative. We're just going to find the difference. How far is it between these two points? Our final answer is going to be negative because the difference will be negative. And there we go. 3 minus 0 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 minus 3 is 1. And we're set. All right. So a couple things we had to remember. We had to remember from back from when we were adding integers or adding negative numbers. We had to remember those rules. We can remember that with subtraction, you're finding the difference. You just have to remember to keep the sign from the larger of the two. And just find the difference between the two. Larger minus the smaller. And the sign comes from the larger absolute value. All right? And that is it. So that wasn't all that bad. We just have a lot to remember. And because of that, I want to just point out one thing as we're finishing this up. If you don't understand something, don't skip ahead because you will use it later on. You're going to use the things that you learn later on in future lessons. And also, hopefully, you'll find ways to use it in life. I hope that this has been helpful for you. Have a great day.